The family of a teen hospitalized after a night of drinking at a University of Missouri fraternity has settled a lawsuit with all 23 people that were sued. That includes the Phi Gamma Delta fraternity, where the family of Daniel Santulli claims members forced him to drink to join. Now, he's been in a disabled state since then. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live from the Boone County Courthouse, where she saw the family settle that suit today. Layla. Deb, although the family is still facing a lengthy and a costly hospitalization, there was some relief today when they were able to tell the court that out of all 23 people sued, all of them have approved settlements. Prior to the hearing today, only 20 out of the 23 people had approved settlements. Since filing the case, the family's lawyer, David Bianchi, was able to get written, the written police file and surveillance footage from the fraternity. Now, Bianchi said he plans to take legal action against some other fraternity members that have not yet been included in this. The family will now go in front of Judge Stephanie Morell, asking her to approve the 23 settlements. Once that is done, the case will be dismissed. Bianchi claims in October, members forced Daniel Santulli to drink a bottle of vodka in a short period of time and then used a funnel to pour beer down his throat. This was all caught on video. His blood alcohol level was more than five times the legal limit to drive, and he was found unresponsive with blue lips. Santulli remains unable to speak, walk, or care for himself and has a long road ahead to recovery. The Santullis have taken on more than a million dollars in medical bills. They knew exactly what they were doing. They knew they weren't supposed to do it because they were on probation. They knew that serving alcohol to pledges under the age of 21 is against the law. They knew that what they were doing was violating all the rules and regulations at the university and at Phi Gamma Delta's national policies and procedures. But they did it anyway. It is the height of arrogance to do this. And it's just plain wrong. We reported last week that the university disciplined at least 13 of the students involved. Bianchi said he heard that at least two students have been expelled. I reached out to the university to confirm this information, and they told me they were unable to because of student privacy laws. Now, MU Police has asked the prosecutor's office to review the case. At this time, no charges have been filed. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Okay, Layla, thank you. And Missouri has an anti-hazing statute. Bianchi says he's hopeful that this will be enforced in this case.